The very first verse of the Bible states, in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. Of course, if that verse is not true, then neither is the rest of the Bible true. People then ask, well, how do you know that there's a creator? How do you know that God created the heavens and the earth? What is the ultimate proof of creation? Well, in one sense, scientifically, empirically, you can't prove or disprove that there's a creator. You can't prove or disprove the Bible because we're finite beings. We haven't always been there. We don't know everything. But if there really is a creator, we'd expect to see evidence of the creation, evidence that there's intelligence behind the universe, and we do. We find that evidence in living things. Even when we look at the basic building block of life, DNA, we see there that there's a code system and an information system, all evidence that there is a designer and intelligence behind life. And of course, if there is a great designer, a great creator behind the universe, the only way we would ultimately know who he is is if he revealed himself to us. Actually, the Bible tells us that he revealed himself to us in the person of his son, the Lord Jesus, who stepped into history to be the God-man, to die on a cross, be raised from the dead, and offer a free gift of salvation. And he reveals himself to us in the Word of God, the written Word. The Bible is a very unique book. It claims to be the Word of God who knows everything, who's always been there, who has revealed himself to us through the written Word that he breathed into men his spirit to ensure that we have an inerrant, infallible Word from our Creator. And you know, if the Bible really is God's Word, we'd expect to find evidence consistent with what we read in the Bible, and we do. The fact that the Bible tells us God made kinds of animals and plants after their kind is consistent with what we see in biology, that there are distinct groups or kinds, like the dog kind, that doesn't change into a different kind, even though you can have variation within a kind. The Bible tells us that we're all descendants of one man and one woman. Actually, the science of genetics confirms that there's only one human race. And the Bible tells us there's been a global flood. We see billions of dead things buried in rock layers laid down by water all over the earth. And that tells us that there really has been a global flood, although we can't ultimately scientifically prove it. But is there an ultimate proof of creation? Well, there is an ultimate proof in this sense that if there is no creator, no creator God, and if the Bible is not true, then nothing makes sense. We all agree on the laws of logic, that we can argue with each other, talk with each other, and that we can use logic to reason with each other. We all agree on the laws of nature, that there are laws that govern the universe that were the same yesterday and today and will be tomorrow, which is why we can experiment uh, with what we have around us and we can build our technology. But why do we have the laws of logic? Why do we have the laws of nature? If it was a random universe, if there's no creator God, no absolute authority, no infinite creator behind the universe. How do we know that those laws won't change tomorrow? How do we know that someone else's logic is not the same as ours? How do we know for sure that we can logically argue with each other? You see, the only thing that makes sense is if there is a creator God, as the Bible tells us. People who argue with each other, even to talk to each other, or accept the laws of nature so we can then experiment in this world, have to actually borrow from presuppositions. When you think about it, the ultimate proof of creation is the fact that this universe exists, is governed by laws that God established, laws that we all understand and recognize and we all agree upon.